In this video, I'll be sharing what I think are the five most essential shelf buttons in Maya. These buttons are going to be beginner friendly, so I won't be going over any third party scripts or any crazy advanced Maya functionality. Let me know what you think of this list down in the comments. What are shelf buttons and how do you make them? Shelves are basically groups of Maya actions you could quickly access instead of digging through these menus up here. Maya already comes with preloaded shelves you could check out. So here's the curves and surfaces, poly modeling. So I could just quickly create a cube through here instead of going up here and then creating a cube this way. Same for rigging. There's a shelf for rigging. Instead of switching my workspace to rigging, going to skin and bind skin, I could simply just click this uh, bind skin button. Having a custom shelf is a great way to speed up your workflow. Maya already comes with an empty custom shelf for you to start populating. To make a shelf button, switch to the shelf that you want the shelf button to be, right? So we're going to be in custom. Then go over to whatever functionality you want. So I want to create a cube and then press control shift and middle click this. And you'll see that it shows up in the, in our custom, in our custom shelf here to organize your shelf. You could just simply middle mouse click any of the buttons and then move them to whatever position you want. To delete a shelf button, just right click and delete. So now you know the basics of shelves and shelf buttons. So first on the list, I have export selection. Export selection is a must have shelf button in my opinion, especially if you're working in game art, you will use it a lot. So the regular way to do export selection is um let's say we have our game model here and we want to export the what we currently have selected uh you'll have to go up here to file and then export selection so if you're doing this a lot um during the day exporting a lot of your models into the game engine um it could get quite tedious going up here and then doing export selection so I would recommend turning this into its own shelf button. So just make sure you're in custom, go to file and then control shift, middle mouse, click export selection. Next up, we have freeze transformations. Freeze transformations basically zeros out all of your um, transform values. And that could be pretty handy sometimes in Maya and also is good practice too. Uh, zero out your or freeze your transformations before you export out your models into the game engine. I want this model's origin to be here, right? Um, and I, I want to have clean transforms here. Uh, I would have to go up here to modify and freeze transformations. And that basically zeroes out all of the transforms and then sets the scale to one. So this is its new, um, default position. So if I move this somewhere and then I zero out the transformations, it'll go back to this position here. Uh, so let's make this a shelf button. You'll just have to go up here to modify and then control shift and middle mouse click freeze transformations. So next we have center pivot. So center pivot is helpful for, um, just centering your pivot to like the center of your object. Um, right here, you could see that the pivot is still here at the origin or it's not where we want it. Like I, I want the pivot to be like in the middle of my model. So I don't have to like rotate from or like rotate or transform or anything like that from this position. I want the pivot to be in the center. So to do that, I would have to go up here to modify 
and center pivot. And that puts the pivot in the center of my model. Um, and you'll probably be doing this a lot if you're modeling a lot. So it's a good idea to have this as a shelf button. So go up here to modify, center pivot, control shift, middle click. Next up, I have delete history. Um, so you'll see that I did some modeling here, just some, just some random modeling that, that I did, um, on a cube and you'll see over here in the channel box, um, you could open that pressing control a, uh, control a, um, switches from attributes editor to channel box. So you can always toggle between those. Um, and you'll see that in the channel box, you'll see all these like inputs and like, um, like things we've done to this model in here. And this is the model's history. And you want to be careful with this because in Maya, everything you do gets recorded into, um, the model's history. And if you have like a lot of, of a lot of history in, in your scene, it could, um, it could slow down like your whole scene or it could cause some weird, weird issues with some tools sometimes. So, um, if you're noticing any of that, just, just make sure to go up here to, um, edit, delete by type and then history. So this option here is, um, you, you have to have the model selected and then delete by type history. And you'll see that all the history that this model had. All that information, um, kind of useless information gets thrown out. And now this model is more efficient. There's also, um, there's also a delete all by type history. If you want to do this one instead, uh, but this one here deletes the history of the whole scene. So just watch out for that. Um, so. Yeah, I would highly recommend turning that into its own shelf button in your custom shelf in your custom shelf. So just go up here to edit, delete by type history and control shift middle mouse click. And that should be on there now. And uh, just as an extra, let's throw in the uh, the all. So, uh, delete all by type history. Let's do control shift and middle click. Um, but you'll see that it looks exactly the same as the original one. That's, um, just for one object and this one's for all. So you'll, you'll see the little toolbar, uh, tell you that this one's delete history on all objects. And this one right here is for selected objects. So let's actually go in and edit this one. And let's go over to the shelves and let's rename the icon label to I'm gonna just change it to all and save all shelves. So we have the, this history one is only going to delete history on the selected objects. And this one here is going to delete it, delete history on the whole scene. If like your whole scene is being slow. Last but not least, I have optimized scene size. So here in my scene, you can see that I have six different colored cubes here and each one of these has like a different material, right? So if I go to material attributes, this is a red and then this is a yellow. Um, so there's six different materials here. Um, and let's say I, I don't want these other cubes anymore. I just want the just, let's just say I just want the green cube, right? And you might think that, um, that you're like safe now and that, um, all that extra stuff that you imported is not affecting your scene anymore. Um, uh, but sometimes it actually could, and it could, it, like, if you have a lot of extra junk in your scene, like it could slow down your, um, your Maya. So like if I right click on this cube and try to add existing material, you'll see that the materials from the other cube still exist here, right? That didn't delete, those still exist. Um, so a quick way to kind of clean up all the junk that is not being used in the scene is to go up here to file and optimize scene size. 
So if I hit this button, it's going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to do this, right? Um, and this is an undoable action. So you, you have to make sure that, that you want to do this. And then if I click OK, it'll get rid of all of the extra like hidden junk that, that I don't want or that doesn't exist in the scene. So if I right click and then try to add existing material, you'll see that all of the extra materials that I had in here are gone and my Maya should now be running a bit faster now. So let's make that into its own shelf button. So let's go to file, optimize scene size, control shift and middle mouse click. Uh, so there's optimize scene size. And then just so you guys could see, if you click this little square next to um, any of the menu items that have this, uh, these are basically like options for this action. So if I click this, you could, you could see what it's kind of getting rid of. So like it removes empty like stuff and unused stuff. So you could see anything that's um, getting rid of here. Now that you have all of your custom buttons in your custom shelf, uh, you want to make sure to go over here to this gear icon and then click save all shelves. And that's just to make sure that all your shelf buttons get saved next time you open up Maya. So next I'm, I'm going to go through some honorable mentions that didn't make it to my top five, but I just want to mention it just, just in case anyone finds it helpful. Um, so for the first one I have, uh, let's switch over back to modeling and, um, I want to show you guys a tool called, uh, transform. So in the edit mesh, um, there's this transform here and let's tear this panel off here and I'm going to go into base mode on this cube and I'm going to select these two cube, the, these two faces right here. And then I'm going to press transform and you'll see that if I move on the Z axis on this transform widget, it moves based on the, the faces normals, or it moves based on the normals of the selected stuff that you have. Right. So let me see if I could show that a little better. If I go here and I, Let's say I want to bevel this um, and then I want to move this face based on the normal. Uh, I would go here to um, where is it transform and move it along the Z axis. And that basically moves it along um, the normals of the face. And this could be pretty handy with um, like if you want to make panels, like let's say um, I want this to be kind of like a panel line. Uh, let me just make some segments here. And let's tighten it up a bit more. And let me just put um, regular Lambert on this. I want to push this edge in so it kind of looks like a panel line. I'll use the, um, I'll use the transform here. And then I'll move along the Z axis and you'll see that it moves it based on the normals. So it's like insetting like a panel line, right? All around the model. So that comes in pretty handy sometimes for modeling. So let's turn that into a shelf button. Uh, go here to transform control shift, middle click. And now you have that as a, as your own little shelf button. Let me know what you thought about my list down in the comments below and like, and subscribe.